What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Stan of SJ Square Photography, bring you back another Affinity iPad tutorial today. Now, this tutorial is gonna be all about enhancing dodging technique. I'm gonna show you how to enhance your dodging technique using a very simple technique called the Fuse Glow. Now, right before we get right into this tutorial, I want to say I have partnered with Soundstripe. I love their app music. Everything that website has to offer, I've been using it ever since the beginning of my, my YouTube career. So if you love my music, please hit that link in the description below. Please sign up and try them out for yourself. All the music is absolutely warranty free. Now, that's out the way, so let's get right into this tutorial. As you can see, this is gonna be about a, a filter called Diffuse Glow. Now what it does, it actually enhances the highlights inside your photos, adding like a soft diffuse glow to it. So it enhances it. And I'm just going to show you how to do it now. I got these three photos. It's going to be a real quick tutorial today because it's a real easy technique. So I'm just going to get these three different photos. I'm going to show you just how it affects a black and white image from a color image and just give you a good wide range of how this technique kind of works. So let's go ahead and get started with the black and white first. As you can see right now, I do have the diffuse glow on right now as I'm going to drop this down. The way I like using it is I like using frequency separation first and I like putting it and attaching it to my low frequency layer sorry now here's all the stuff i have done this is my final images so it's everything is done as you can see right here it's the diffuse glow so now what i'm going to do is cut it off and on for you so you can see the different difference of what it actually does to the photo here's it off now here's it on now really pay attention to the background and her highlight on the side of her face so i'm gonna do it one more time off and on see it actually adds a really nice diffuse glow to the highlights and it enhances the highlights. So this is why it enhances the, you know, the dodging technique. So it's actually really easy to absolutely do this technique. Like I said, once you do it, it's all subjective and how you want it to affect your photo, but it's absolutely, it's really, really simple. And you can use it any way you want to. If you don't want to use it like how I'm using it with the low on the low frequency level, because I just like it to adjust my colors and that's what in the tones of it. That's the reason why I put it on my low frequency level, but you can also not put it on your low frequency level and put it on the top. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you want to just use it on the, so here's how, let me show you to start how to use it first. I'm going to cut that off. So what you want to do is you want to press low frequency because this effect is actually in the layers component. In order to get it as its own layer, you actually have to cut on live filter. This is going to make it its own layer. So you're going to be able to adjust it and move it. If you don't click that on, then you're going to put it on to whatever you, whatever layer you have it on, it's going to be, you know, ingrained into that automatically. So always hit live filter. Well, just in general, on a side note, just always hit live filter period when you're messing with the filter layers. Now, don't get it, don't get it wrong. There are some filters that actually doesn't uh, you know, support live filter. So you actually have to put it on the actual photo or the layer you're working on. But I'll make another video another day to show you how to do that because it's always still working around around that as well. But always click on the live filter thing, uh, the live filter button, sorry, toggle. And this will, this will you know, help you with this. Now, what you wanna do, you go down to a diffuse glow. Here we are right here. And we're going to click on it and let me go to it as you can see this one is attached and i'm gonna cut it off and on and then that's pretty much about it from here all you gotta do is just mess with the intensity i'm gonna bring it down if it's too much for you just bring it down a little bit you know you can mess with the threshold of it you know you can make it really really crazy like that and then you can mess with the opacity you know of this effect and then it also has the effect the opacity of the whole entire thing so like i said this technique is simple but powerful as you can see it really enhances the highlights of it that really make and it gives you the opportunity to make your photo actually pop and you can mess with the, the radius of course and all this good stuff but like i said everything is all subjective you can really just play with the way you want to play with it now i'm going to show you if you actually don't want to put it on to this layer and just have it out so it can affect the whole entire photo now all you want to do is just take it grab it and bring it up to the top and it's going to affect the whole entire photo that's and that's just pretty much about that's all you got to do from there so let's just go ahead and get out of this. Now I'm going to show you how it does with another layer in the colors. All right, let's go to this photo right here. Now, as you can see in this photo, this is the same way. Like I said, the way I like using this in frequency separation, that's just my, my preference. And I'm going to cut this on it off. You can see here, here's the photo right here with it off. Now I'll cut it back on. And like I said, really look at the dress, look at the highlights in her face right here. And then look at the highlights in the background here. In here sorry i gotta shake because i don't have a pen drawn but look at the highlights and stuff back here and here i'm gonna cut it off and on again that's off look at it on 
it just really brings that pop and it, 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 it attracts you to the photo once you put it on. I like it a whole lot better. Like I said, I don't do this for every single photo, guys. I only do it for some photos where I really like, I feel like this technique is really, you know, necessary. So, and also as well, say if you don't want it on the background. Now, of course, you can just come here, use the eraser tool. I'm gonna make this really, my brush really, really big here. You can use the eraser tool and you can just erase it off the background. You know, say if you don't want it on the background, if you, you only want it on her, then you just erase it. It's, it's not that hard. You know, you just erase it. As you can see, I erased it from the back. So, you know, you can also do it that way too. And if you want to put it on certain ways, then you can just invert the mask by hitting the three prongs here. And then you go here and you invert the mask. Well, let's show you how to invert it on the next photo. Let me go back. Sorry, it's saving right now. All right, go to the next photo. Same thing, it's this photo right here. The same way, as you can see, this is the same way I use it. Now, like I said, if you don't want to, you know, if you want to just put it, put it on the way you want to paint it on, you want to hit this three prongs right here. You want to go down to invert mask and it's going to invert it. And then what you do is hit the paintbrush, click over here, go to white, white reveals, black conceals, and then you just, paint it on where you want to paint it on it it's pretty simple it's nothing hard about this at all like i said so that's pretty much about it now cut that on and off and let you see you know i just painted it on where i wanted to paint it on at so like i said this technique is pretty simple it's pretty quick tutorial today uh, now i hope you this tutorial actually helps you out so you can actually go use it in your own photos as well and i also appreciate you actually watching this video so if you like my content please consider yourself subscribing Please like, comment, and subscribe on top of that. <laughs> and into the next video, peace.